What is up guys, now I'm Narendra the Comic and right now we're going to be reacting to the first official trailer, teaser trailer for Bumblebee. Now, I'm going to be honest with you, Transformers is not one of my favourite franchises. I, I disliked it so much that I didn't see uh, The Last Night, or I think that's what it's called, the last, the last film that came out uh, in 2017. I didn't see that one because I was like, I didn't like number four very much. And number five looked even worse than number four. And number four was garbage. Definitely the worst one of the series. And apparently five was even worse than four. I love my man Anthony Hopkins, but I don't think even he could save that film. So they said they were going to do a spin-off with Bumblebee. And John Cena's in it. My man, I can see him. I can see him BTS stan, Hobie. He loves J-Hope. Um, and Hayley Seinfeld are both in this film. The problem is, I feel Star Wars is going down the route of Transformers for me with The Last Jedi. Wow, The Last Jedi, The Last Night, it was the last straw for me. I think I've given up on Star Wars as well. But let's get to this trailer. Let's go. Hopefully it can impress. Alright. Is it like an origin story of Bumblebee? Is I don't know. Let me tell you something. Drive, pick the car. Oh shit, that's the guy from the first film. Car, pick the drive. You know, just that has made me want to watch the first film again. Oh, is this like a prequel? This is a prequel. There was a face. It's gonna move. Oh shoot. Oh shit. That would freak me the fuck out. That would freak me out. Oh my god, it's like original Bumblebee shit. Oh, he's scared of her. Who are you? Do you speak? That's what they always say. What's your name? Oh. Okay, that was cute. Is Cena her dad or something? Like, where's Cena? Oh, that was Cena. I think that was Cena there. There he is. Oh, there's Cena. Oh, he's the main and evil. Was that Starscream? Wow, he looked cool as well. You got people out there who need you. Oh, he's going to battle mode. He went into battle mode there. This is why you're here, B. You know, B music can help you say what you're feeling. Try this. He has a sense of humor. I like the lad. I like the lad. Um, wow, I actually had minor goosebumps there. It was it was a touching trailer. It was there was a bit of it. Personally, I think Haley Seinfeld is a good actress. Wherever she is, outside acting, whatever. But I think she's a decent actress. Cena, I thought you might have been a good guy, but apparently he's going to be a villain because man looked like he was like a special ops unit and maybe trying to take down Bumblebee. Starscream looked sick as well. Like there was just like one second, two seconds of him doing his uh, his his shift, and he looked great super good i do like the fact they've gone back and it looks like they've gone to like an original bumblebee design as opposed to even the one in the first transformers there was a modern contemporaryness to it whereas this looks like it's like the really old 1980s design which i i, I love i love it a lot and you know what I, I might be excited for this i think i am i think i want to see this film coming out in christmas though i don't think that's the right time for this film i don't think that's the right time for it i think they may have mucked up on that I suppose there isn't a Star Wars film coming out this Christmas, so maybe they're on the right track, actually. That might be a good idea. That might be a good... Wow, they may have played me even more than I thought. Good job, I guess. I guess. I just... I hope the film's good, because if the film is a letdown, then people are just going to be dead off of Transformers for, like, a decade. If this film is good, it could save the franchise, honestly. Because I know the last film only made, like, what? I think maybe $600 million worldwide. So it essentially failed for all intensive purposes. They probably scrambled to make a profit on it. I don't think they even made a profit on it considering the budget was probably 250 million. As long as they've done this for a cheaper production, which it seems like they would have been able to because there's not 75 Transformers in it. There's only like two or three probably. 
I'd like to see if there's Prime as well. Does Prime appear in this? It wouldn't make sense if he appears in the film if this is a prequel, physically. But if it's on like a hologram or something that Bumblebee has of Prime, then that could be cool. Or Ironhide, that could be really cool stuff because that would be interesting to see the development there. Also, that thing right at the beginning with the guy from the first Transformers film where he's talking to Sam Witwicky about the, uh, the bond between man and car. I was like, that brought me straight back to that first film, you know. And honestly, I'm going to re-watch that film this week now because of that. It, it's so... It's such an underrated film, in my opinion. It's it's actually, for Michael Bay, Michael Bay, you did a good job with that first film. I think the first film and the third film in the Transformers franchises are actually decent films. The second one is garbage, the fourth one is garbage, and apparently the fifth one is even worse. But the first and third ones for me are actually decent films, and the first one, in my opinion, is a very good film. I could be wrong, but for me, it works. Anyway, guys, if you did enjoy this video, please do like, share, comment, and subscribe. To the channel down there if you didn't if you didn't then Starscream is gonna come after you himself man's a savage he will rocket you to oblivion and you don't want that you already know so just subscribe anyway to avoid that and I've been Narendra the comic you have been great and I'll see you next time skadoosh